So here's the deal. I kind of suck at game dev. Okay, I probably don't like really, really suck, but I'm kind of constantly hitting roadblocks. Starting strong, getting crazy excited, and then everything just like falls apart. That's why I'm constantly looking for ways to make the process simpler, faster, and just more honest. I have found something that kind of changed how I went about some of my creation processes. A simple 10 second test. And it exposed a huge flaw in my game, one that I probably would have missed without it. So let's get into it. Here's a test. This is the 10 second test. The 10 second test is simple. You sit someone down in front of your game. You don't explain anything to them. You don't coach them. You don't tell them how to do this and that and the other thing. And you just say, try this. And then you watch their first reaction. Do they light up? Do they freeze? Are they upset? Just look at what you're watching. Watch their facial features and watch what they watch. See what they do and just watch their face. You're not listening to what they say, you're watching what they do for 10 seconds. That unfiltered 10 seconds will tell you more than hours of just you testing things. This is how I came across the test. I was showing off a new character model. See, I had a previous character model that just it didn't sit well with me. The old model stood out and just did not mix well with the environment. And I just thought something was lacking, but I just did not know how big of an issue it was until I started tweaking its design. And when I finished the first frame, I showed it off and the reaction was immediate. Everyone I showed it to, their face lit up. They said, oh my goodness, Matthew, this looks so much better. I mean, look at this. I'll show it on the screen. Look at it. Duh, it looks better. But I just didn't realize how much of a difference it would make. Like, I didn't realize how big it was. This reaction to me led me to think about other things within my game that I thought might be lacking. Something like my UI. Another thing might be my controls or level design. All these things I started thinking, Okay, what do people, what are people's initial reaction to this? You know, when I think of games like Super Mario World or, you know, Majora's Mask, I immediately think of like the colorful colors, the way the movement feels, everything is crisp and clean and sharp. All those feelings that I just described, they're immediate. You turn, you start the level and you are embraced with all of those things at the same time. Not 10 minutes later. I mean, maybe 10 minutes later, you'd be like, okay, yeah, like this is some crisp level design. This is some crisp movement, but you can kind of get a gist of how good it is right away. You know, you, you know what you will find right away if something doesn't feel good. If you do something and it does not feel good, you will know it right away. It is, you don't have to think about it for 10 minutes. You will know right away if something does not feel good, if something does not look good you will know it. And that's what this test does. And I began to realize that those first few seconds of someone piecing it together and waiting for that click moment, that ah moment of, of whether it's good or bad, whether, oh, this is terrible or, oh, that feels good, was crazy valuable. And the rest of my game started to kind of start to work together because of that one piece. Because the character model stood out in a negative way, it made me design my enemies in a certain way that was also negative. And it made me place things in the environment that did not sit right. And now with this better version of my main character, everything flows out of it now in a better way. The enemies look better. The environment looks better. Everything just feels better. Even the character's movement. The character is now faster and it feels good to like run away from something. Previously, you're just like plodding along. You're like, oh no, here comes a guy and you have to like get away. Now it feels like, oh, there's some urgency now. And I would have not had it without getting that reaction, that immediate reaction from other people. And that was just so valuable. And I think one of the, the key important aspects here is that it, it doesn't just apply to one aspect. You can use it for anything. Your UI, the, the beginning tutorial, even your game's art style. It, it has affected everything with me and it applies, you can apply it anywhere. If something does not feel right in the first 10 seconds, this is a signal that something might be up. I understand that some things need more time and there's a place for that obviously when it comes to community community testing, to search for bugs and just players, you know, feedback on things. That is a, a whole different thing. This 10 second rule is to just test some of the features and things you have to make sure you're headed in the right direction. Don't wait until the end of development to do it, to find out what's broken. This test can pinpoint that something's up. 
and you want to get ahead of that. And it does it almost immediately. It's 10 seconds. You're just, you're just watching someone. It's not some convoluted thing. You're just watching someone. Figuring out how to fix it is a whole other thing. But here are some follow-up questions you can ask to help you kind of pinpoint what needs to fix. One of those questions is, was there anything confusing or unclear? The second question is, did anything stand out to you, good or bad? That's key, good or bad. Not just something bad, not just something good, good or bad. And lastly, if this was your game, if you were making this game right now, what would you change first? Uh, those three questions have helped me quite a bit. And really, what this all comes down to, this 10 second rule, this all this stuff is just getting feedback. It all comes down to feedback. I know it's terrifying to watch someone play your unfinished games. You don't want the weird looks. You don't want the like, oh, like I don't want to hurt their feelings. You don't want that. You just want the good stuff. I understand. But feedback is the fastest way to make your game better. Straight up. It, feedback, like 98% of the time, can make your game better. Because it just shows what is potentially hanging people up. And you can do this online. Jump on a Discord call. Listen to what they have to say. Just share their screen. Share their camera if you can. And just explain the premise of the test. Don't, don't get it. I mean, it's like a 10 second test. It, it's not like crazy. But it, it all it's, it's the feedback. The feedback is the most valuable aspect of this whole thing. And like I said, it can only make your game better. So yeah, that it's just, just a little video that I wanted to make that's been really helpful for me lately uh, in testing things and getting people's feedback. It's just been crazy helpful and like I said this just it's just like a tiny it's a 10 second test it revealed just how big of an issue that this was and if I'd released the game with it it might have not been great and I just can't recommend it enough it's 10 seconds if you're stuck or overwhelmed or just you know feel lost in your game with some type of issue start here it's a good launching off point but yeah, just watch someone play it. Watch someone for 10 seconds, watch their face, and you'll learn something. Let me know if you guys try this. I can't wait to see how you guys maybe change it. This is just something that I've found lately. I just wanted to share. This is just a quick little video. I just wanted to see what you guys think of it. Uh, maybe you guys already used this 10 second test. I don't know, but it's been super helpful for me and very revealing. And uh, you should check it out. If you guys are interested in Prepare the Past though, you can go wishlist it right now. It'll be coming out here soon. I'm working on the marketing processes of it. You're going to want to see that. So hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.